Hey, it's Justin Marshall for Primetime Local News. I'm here with the Amazing Race Canada winners, Season 7, Anthony and James from the Lakeland. Yeah! Hey, Lakeland! <laughs> right here. <laughs> How did it feel to win the Amazing Race Canada? Oh my god, winning the Amazing Race Canada is so indescribable. It's like a total rush. And I think the biggest part is celebrating with all our fans and everyone who watched us on the show. It's been really fun. Fantastic. We're out at uh, the Cahewan Health uh, Center here. Uh, we're actually, James, I should be calling you Dr. Makokas, eh? <laughs> sure. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> what were some of your goals uh, in the Amazing Race Canada? Well, there was a few goals that we had. One is don't get eliminated during the first episode, which we managed to just squeak by seventh place. Uh, the second goal was to wear our um, Water is Life shirts, which we did in the Revelstoke leg at the top of Mount... Oh, do you remember the name of the mountain? Mount McKinley. Mount McKinley. Wait, was it? Diamond of the North or something? <laughs> something of the we'd North. We'd always try to remember that what they would tell us because we always thought it was going to be a puzzle at the end. Um, the third one was to wear our uh, red ribbon dresses, um, which we managed to do in Edmonton, of all yeah. places, to represent missing and murdered and Indigenous women, as well as two-spirit and transgender health issues. Our fourth one was to stay on long enough to be on our wedding anniversary, which we did in Kitchener-Waterloo, and Anthony gave me this amazing bracelet. Our fourth... <laughs> no, He's are we... Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> I mean, He's not wearing it. Uh, was to get into the, se <laughs> to the semifinals and then to get into the finale. Yeah. So we managed to do all of those things. What he's trying to say <laughs> is that many people thought we were the underdogs, which we were in some sense. And our strategy for success was to have small goals along the way that allowed us to look forward to like checking off our next box. And we kind of stayed at the back of the pack just to observe, watch, learn but and partly strategy too yeah. we didn't want to come out like on the attack that was our strategy beyond people's radar yeah so we kind of stayed at the back of the pack had many goals and that enabled us to bust out and take first for the most important leg which is the last one and i think that surprised people you know they only found out a little bit more about who we are in the yellowstone episode because we said that we were you know community health workers and we didn't want pe oh what did I say? Yellowstone, <laughs> yellow knife. Um, we said that we were community health workers. We didn't want people to know a bit about our background because we thought that might get their radar up. And um, yeah, so we kind of held back quite a bit during the race. One of the phenomenal things is um, during the race and like after when we've been doing these viewing parties, uh, you held watch parties with all your fans around uh, Bonneville, Cold Lake, and St. Paul, getting like 550 people out. And it's all to raise money for the Kiwan Cultural Healing Center that you want to build here. Um, how phenomenal was it to have uh, that kind of community support around here? I mean, I think we knew from day one that we were running to bring people together. You know, we wanted to do the show because we we're fun, adventurous people, but we also wanted to like have the experience shared with others. So, James thought we should bring it to the Lakeland, had a huge parties, had never been done in the Amazing Race Canada history. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things we did while hosting these parties was to talk about our dream to build a healing center here in Kihiwin. People can learn more about that at gofundme.com slash restore harmony. We actually, you'll like this, we produced a 10 minute doc mm -hmm. within a week before coming to the finale episode in Toronto. So people can go watch that and share it and learn more about what we're doing here. And there's going to be a big party this Saturday. Yeah. And that's right here in Cahewan at the gym, right? Uh, at, at gym the or the rec center. It's the youth slash rec center. Oh, the gym. Okay. At the gym. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So everyone's invited. Um, we're going to have dancing, food. And a rewatch party. So we never had a chance to have our final viewing party with people in the Lakeland. So we're really excited to rewatch that with them and experience the excitement again and pretend we're still on the race. <laughs> well, guys, it's been so much fun uh, catching up with you. I really appreciate everything and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's Anthony and James from The Amazing Race Canada. We'll send it back to you guys in studio.